Four years later and Ronaldo's back in sparkling form, winning the golden boot with eight goals. But what was his hairdresser playing at? That's not what I understand by a Brazilian. Hairdresser was quite nervous about that one. How's that for you? And Ronaldo hadn't gone, ah! Well, I think, you know, it was undoubtedly ridiculous haircuts, and, you know, I'm not going to criticise Ronaldo for that. If you score eight goals in the World Cup, you can have whatever hair you like. In 98, the Romanians all went blonde. They reckoned it was team bonded. We think the cleaners tampered with the shampoo. They all look like androids trotting out. They've probably just got a job lot down the chemist and put it on themselves, and it's come out a khaki orange colour. They've all gone blonde and look like characters from a, a nightmare Stephen King novel. I don't know why they did it. Did all of them have... Every single member of the team, yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm no fashion expert, but, you know, yellow and yellow, is too, you can have too much it's of a good thing. Yeah. It didn't work, because you always need to know who your best striker is. So they were passing the ball to players who, quite frankly, were there just to make the numbers up. And here's Bulgaria's Boris Mikhailov, complete with receding hairline. But wait, a few years later, he has a luxurious head of nylon. There he is with, like, this kind of John Travolta quiff. Fair play to anyone wearing a wig in the sport where you have to jump around. How did that wig stay on as a goalkeeper? You know, did he actually sometimes, like, I'll go, I won't go for that one because a wig might come off or something like that? Nine minutes, 20. And the man with the weave, or whatever it is, beaten for the third time. 